Hello and welcome back to my garage. I am Jeremy and today we are going to wire up a windshield wiper motor. It's going to have two speeds and a park position. So let's get started. Now you'll notice there's a lot of extra notes here on the board today and that's okay. I'm going to actually talk you through it, but I just wanted them here for reference. Let's go over the components first. The wiper motor here is for a 1987 to 95 Jeep Wrangler. And I chose this one because it's cheap. It has wires that come out of it. It doesn't have like a plug that you need to find a connector for. And it looks good under the hood of a car. It's very simple and basic. And it comes with this bracket right here, which you can cut and weld and make whatever kind of bracket you want. Um, and that way you don't have to find the right one for whatever motor you're, you're working with. So I thought this was a really good option to start with. And that's what we're going with today. Now here we have a five pin relay, which is what you'll see in a whole bunch of my videos. It's just a five pin Bosch style automotive relay. It's got five pins. We're gonna use them all today and they're super cheap and plentiful. You can find them everywhere. There's links in the description. This right here is a universal wiper switch. Now this is the same universal wiper switch that just about everybody on the internet sells. You can buy it at every auto parts store. You can buy it on eBay, Amazon, wherever you're shopping you can find this switch. It's got four pins on it, and we're only gonna use three of them to make this work today. So with any circuit, you always wanna have a fuse protecting it. So in this case, we have a fused wire, but if you happen to have a fuse box that you can grab uh, the power from and have it already fused, that's a nice option too. One more note on the 12 volt ignition, that needs to be an actual ignition source. So that shouldn't be hooked up to your battery directly it should be turning on when you turn your ignition switch on. So you don't want to be able to use your wipers with the car off. You only want them to work with the car on. So when you wire your 12 volt ignition source, you need to make sure it's coming from something that is turned on by the ignition switch. All right, now the wiring itself is actually really easy to do. So let's start with the motor. The motor has five wires. The black one is a ground, which you'll see on my little list here. The red one is power. So again, it just goes to the 12 volt power on the fuse. And then you have green, which is the low speed for the motor. And the yellow, which is the high speed for the motor. And then you have white. And when you use the white wire, it basically sets the motor into the park position, which I'll show you right here. So let's say we stop the motor right here. It automatically goes back to its park position. And if we switch it to go off here, it goes back to the park position. You can stop it anywhere you want and it will always go back to the park position. That's what the park wire does. Over here on the relay, we have pin 87 and 86. They are actually connected together. That's the yellow and the white wire. And they come together over on the low terminal of your universal wiper switch. The blue wire on the bottom is pin 30 and that gets connected to your green wire of your motor, which is the low speed wire. Pin 85 is the ground wire and that comes over and obviously goes to ground. And then we have pin 87A, which is the red wire. Now that gets connected to your white, which is your park wire on your motor. Now you'll notice that the relay doesn't connect to the yellow wire on the motor. That's because the yellow wire for the motor actually comes over and goes directly to the high terminal on your universal wiper switch. The last terminal on the universal wiper switch is actually the red wire which gets tied into your fused 12 volt ignition wire. Now with all this working properly, you can put your switch on the low speed and you have a low speed wiper. You can turn it on high and you have your high speed wiper. And then you can shut it off anywhere you want and it will always come back to the park position as I showed you earlier. Now it doesn't matter if you're on low and you put it in the park position or if you're on high and you put it in the park position, it always goes back to the park. So whether you're building a hot rod that just needs some wipers, or if you're building a haunted house and you need to automate some of your scary guys, this option might work great for you. Down in the description below, you'll find links to all these parts. You'll also find some links to some of my other videos that are a lot like this one. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one.